let's begin. We're going to read our last two stories from our book about Seth. In today's stories, we're going to learn about Seth's mom. Remember her name? Her name is Pat. Well, she has a friend. I'm going to tell you something about her friend. Take a look. Pat is Seth's mom. Pat. Pat is Seth's mom. Pat's mom has a best friend. Does your mom have a friend? Her mom's friend's name is M -E -M -E -G. So this is one family, and this is another family. In Meg's family, you're not gonna believe this, Meg has five babies. I said it, I said it, Meg has five babies and her five babies are all boys. When you have five babies all at once, it's kind of like when we say that you have twins, but twins are just when you have two babies at the same time, like our friends Abigail and Saul, or Sarai and Anai, or Leo and Liam. Those are all twins that we have at our school. But in this story, Meg's family has five babies. And those five babies are not called twins because twins are only two. They're called qu, in, quint, quints, quints. Quints are when you have five babies born all at the same time. Okay, now these five baby boys that Meg has all have names that we can read. Their names are, sound this one out, Tom, Tom, T, M, Max. Sam. And Wes. You see that? Tom, Tim, Max, Sam, and Wes. So Meg is the mom. She has five babies. Those five babies are called Quints, and their names are Tom, Tim, Max, Sam and Wes. Now that I've told you all about the story, I think we should start the story. There's Pat. We remember Pat, don't we? And this is her friend, Meg. Meg's tots. Tots, that makes me think about like food when we're eating tater tots, but a tot is actually another word that we use for a small child. Like if you have a baby brother or a baby sister, you would say, oh yes, we do have a tot at home. Tot comes from the word toddler, right? And so if they're a toddler, it's like a baby that's learning to walk. So Meg has tots, that's what the apostrophe S is for. Meg's tots. How many tots does she have? Five, five baby boys. Let's read. The. This, this is M -E -G, M-E-G, capital letter, because names always start with capital letters. Meg is Pat's best, best pal. Best pal, a pal is a friend. And look, apostrophe S, because Pat has a friend. Oh boy, you wanna see all the babies? There they are and they even have their names written on their shirts. Pat has one a lad, lad. Lad, oh, that's a word that comes from over in Great Britain, and it means a little boy. She has one little boy called a lad. 
his name is Seth. Remember the picture I drew about Pat and her son, Seth? Well, Meg has five tots. Here are their names. Tom, Tom, T Im, Tim, M Max, Max, S M, Sam, and Wes, Wes. Tom, Tim, Max, Sam, and Wes. Meg has Quince. Remember, Quince are what you call five babies born all on the same day to the same mama. Kind of like twins are two babies born on the same day to the same mama. Well, guess what, guys? Shoof! Pat and Ted help Meg. Do you remember who Pat is? Seth's mom. Do you remember who Ted is? Seth, Seth's dad. Pat and Ted help Meg. Pat sets Tim, Tim and T uh, Tom on Seth's r uh, rug. Rug. Here's a rug. That must be where Tim and Tom are. Ted sets Sam on Seth's quilt. Oh, there's a quilt. Pat sets M at Max on Seth's bed. There's the bed. Ted helps Wes stand up on Seth's d -e -de desk. Whew, lots of words here. Let's read a little bit about what happens when they try to feed the quince their meal. <sighs> ah. Ha sh hash and mill milk milk they're going to be eating hash and milk i'm not sure what hash is um i've eaten something before called hash browns but let's find out in the story if we can figure out from the picture and from the words what hash is let's begin Pat and Ted had a uh, lunch lunch with Meg Meg's tots. Remember, tots means small children. Max got a uh, hash hash on his ch ch in ch in chin. Wes got hash on his b -i bib bib a bib a baby bib like this blue one here tim tim's tim's milk milk is on tom b -e then then tom got milk on Tim. Then Tom got milk on Tim. Sam, Sam got milk on Pat and t -e Ted. Look, everyone is messy from the hash and milk. We did not find out what hash was, but from looking at the picture, it looks like mushy, mushy food, like bananas or potatoes or baby food. And that's the end of our book. We're going to read those two stories one more time. I'm gonna go a little bit faster, not too fast, just a little bit. Try to read with me. Meg's Tots. This is Meg. Meg is Pat's best pal. Do you notice that when I'm reading, my eyes are looking at the letters and my finger points to each word? I cannot read well if I'm not looking at the words, and my finger helps me know where to look. 
Pat has one lad, little boy. Seth, I remember. Meg has five tots, small children. Tom, Tim, Max, Sam, and Wes. Meg has Quince, five babies. Meg looks like she's very busy. It does not surprise me that she asks Pat and Ted for some help. Pat and Ted help Meg. Pat sets Tim and Tom on Seth's rug. Ted sets Sam on Seth's quilt. Pat sets Max on Seth's bed. Ted helps Wes stand up on Seth's desk. Hash and milk. Pat and Ted had lunch with Meg's tots. Max got hash on his ch ch chin. Wes got hash on his bib. Tim's milk is on Tom. Then Tom got milk on Tim. Sam got milk on Pat and Ted. That's the end of our story about Seth and his family and his family's friends. For our activity today, I printed this up. It's from our workbooks. I printed this up and I'm gonna ask for some of your help to find the word that matches the picture, okay? I'm going to do the first three and then I'm going to ask you to do the last six. So you're going to need a piece of paper. Good thing I have some right here in my drawer. And you're going to fold it just like this, okay? I'm going to start with it um, nice and tall. Fold it in half this way. I had an art teacher that used to call this folding it like a hot dog because it's a nice, long, skinny hot dog. Okay, after you fold it that way, here comes the tricky part. You're going to fold this long hot dog thingy into three spots. So it's gonna be like an open window. Do you see that? How it's kind of like an open window? And then I'm gonna close one door. See, one door closed. And then I'm gonna close the other door. If you do that, you're gonna open your paper up into six boxes. And just like before, I'll draw a line so that I can see where I'm gonna add them. Now, don't start with number one, okay? Because remember what I said, I'm gonna do number one, two, and three. So you are going to do number four, number five, number six, number seven, eight, and nine. Those are the ones I want you to do for your video. I want you to do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? For number one, two, and three, you can just watch my paper if you'd like. Do you know what this guy is? It's hard to tell because when it printed up, it printed very dark. But do you know, it's not a monkey. Monkeys have tails, did you know? This is a part of the ape family, and this ape is let's look and see if we can find the answer. This says ch, a, ah, cham, champ, champ, like a champion. Is this a picture of a champion? Let's look if we can find a different one. Ch, a, ah, chom, chomp, chomp. 
like, <sighs> hmm. let's look at the last one. Ch, I, chim, p, chimp. This is a special kind of ape called a chimpanzee. And we call chimpanzee a chimp. Chimp. So number one, you don't have to write number one, was chimp. Let's look at number two. Ooh, look at her. What is she doing? What does she have on her hands? It is hard to tell, but it looks like it's a big, like, pillow glove on her hands. Why would she be wearing those? She's a boxer. And let's read the words to see which word matches the picture. P un pun, punch, punch. Oh, that looks like it matches. Should I circle it? It looks like she's punching. I'm not gonna circle it. I'm gonna put a little dot next to it just because I know that I liked that answer. And I want to remember that I think I found the answer, but I cannot find, I cannot circle my answer until I check all the other ones. Ah, uh, hun, hunch. Hunch. Hunch is like if you're hunched over and your, your back is curled down. Mm, she's not in a hunch position. How about this one? B, a, uh, bun, bunch, bunch. Like a whole bunch of flowers or a whole bunch of pencils. You know what? I did not find another answer that matched better. So my first answer with punch, I'm gonna go back and choose that one. Last one that I'm gonna help you with. Oh, it looks like a farm. Does that look like a farm? Like a barn? Let's read and look for the word that says barn. B, ba, no. B, b, ba, no. B, b, barn. There's not a word that says barn. I'm gonna need to go back and read and see if there's a different word that matches what this might be. Because my idea, was not there. I know this sound. This is the sh, sh, sh sound. Sh, eh, sh, d, shed, shed. Oh, I know what a shed is. We had one of those at school. It was over when we're walking around the corner to where Mr. Flores' classroom is. It's a big shed. And um, Mr. Art and Mr. George keep the lawnmower in there. It's like where you keep tools. Oh, it kind of looks like this. Shed. Should I circle it? No, I'm gonna put a dot next to it because I like that one, but I need to check the other ones. This one might be a shed. How about this? M a m sh mush. What's mush? Mush is like mushy, mushy. Oh, it's like that food that the quints were eating, the hash. Does this match this mush? I don't think this is the, I don't think that's, let's look at the last one. S ah, sa, sh, sash. Is this a sash? No, these did not give me a better answer. I'm going to go back to my first answer and circle the word that said shed. Now, starting with number four, you need your paper ready because you're going to write the word that matches the picture. Number four, what is this? Take a look at the three words. You can pause the video. Take a look at the three words and write the word that matches the picture. Pause now if you want. Number five. Look at this. Look at the three words. Choose the word that matches the picture. Ready? Pause. Number six. Oh, do you see what that is? It looks like there's a sandwich and an apple and a juice box. Hmm, look at the three words. Pause the video 
and write the word that matches this picture. Now we're going to look at number seven. Oh, I know what that is. It's something that you see in a store and it's where all of the food is on so you can take it off. Look at the three words. Choose the word that matches the picture. Pause. Only two more, number eight and number nine. Number eight, aha, we have had those in our classroom. It's sort of like a small bucket where you put everything in that you're throwing away. Read these three words and write the word that matches the picture on number eight. Pause. Last one. This is pointing to his leg. I know leg. Look for the word that says, uh-oh, none of those start with uh, uh, leg. You're going to have to look for a word that matches the front part of his leg. Hmm. Try your best. You did great today. Thank you for doing such good work with me. I'm proud of you. And I miss you too. If I could, I'd give you one big squeezy hug. See you later. <laughs>